Today I really wanna do calculus. <laughs> Today's problem is McLaurin! Today's forecast calls for this problem of the day. So come on, superstars, let's do this. Construct the McLaurin series for Ln of 1 minus x. And then for 36b, we are going to use the series, that one, <laughs> and the series from Ln of 1 plus x to construct a McLaurin series for Ln of 1 plus x over all right, so you guys should know the uh, general formula for the McLaurin series. Um, as you see, we have f of 0 plus your f prime of 0 times your x variable over 1 factorial. And you want to keep going all the way to your desired n value. Um, so now we want to find the McLaurin for ln of 1 minus x. And in order to find our derivative value at 0, remember that the derivative of ln of u over here is 1 over u times du. So now we're going to do the derivative of our ln of 1 minus x. So we have f prime of x is equal to our 1 over our u value, our 1 minus x, multiplied by the derivative of our u value, which is our negative 1, because we have that negative, that minus x. So then I'm going to rewrite this as f prime of x equaling negative 1 minus x raised to the negative one power. And this is just um, to have an easier time uh, continuing your differentiation. So we'd have f double prime of x using our power rule. We're going to multiply that negative one down in here. So we're going to have a positive one, one minus x. Remember, this goes down a power, go to our negative two. And do not forget, in chain rule, Multiply that by negative one. Oh, I pity the I fool. Pity the fool. <laughs> negative. It's going to be our negative one minus x minus two. And then we will keep going down um, until your desired n value once again. And I believe this question asks for four terms. All right. So once you have um, your n variables or your n derivatives of your ln of one minus x, we are ready to construct our Maclaurin series. Uh, remember that McLaurin is centered at x is equal to 0. So our f of 0 value, we're going to have ln of 1 minus 0. You guys should all know that ln of 1 is equal to 0. So our f0 value is equal to 0. Um, our f prime of 0, we have our f prime equaling our negative 1 minus x. So f prime is going to be our negative one to the negative one. And then remember, <laughs> multiplying by x and dividing by our one factorial. x over one factorial. Uh, double prime. Continuing, we have our negative one again. Negative one multiplied by one minus zero to the negative two. Remember that's x squared now. Now that we are in our second derivative, we want that x to be squared. And we want our um, denominator to be 2 factorial. And we'll do one more, f triple prime of 0. We have our negative 2, uh, 1 minus x, so we have negative 2. And then 1 minus 0, we'll leave that to the negative 3, x to the third power, again, over 3 factorial. So once you guys get these, you can simplify them into a line. Okay. So now once you have your basic format, we're going to put this into our um, McLaurin series. So we have our negative x over 1 minus x squared over 2. And you can keep in mind that these are factorials, but it doesn't make much of a difference, except for 3 and 4 and so on. Um, we can simplify our 2x uh, cubed over 3 factorial and our 6x to the 4th over 4 factorial. And we'll just cancel out this 0, so we get negative x minus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 and minus x to the 4th over 4. All right, and then for our general term, um, you guys can just see the pattern. We have um, our negative x. Right. 
the N over N. That's A. <laughs> and factorial? No. So <coughs> we already found ln of 1 minus x, and we go through the same process, find ln of x plus 1. So we find your derivatives, find your derivative when it's x equals 0. And then here's the series and the general term. And then the problem asks for ln of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. So when doing uh, ln, it's like subtracting when it comes to dividing. So you have ln of 1 plus x minus the ln of 1 minus x. And then you take the terms that you generated and then you go in for plus and minus. So for our ln of 1 plus x, we have x minus x squared over 2 and so on. So this is for that one. And then for this one here, minus this whole thing. distribute the negative. So positive, positive, positive. So combine these two terms to get 2x. And then these two would cancel out because you have negative and positive. And then these two come together. So plus 2x cubed all over 3. And then these ones also cancel out. And for the general term, we find a pattern, and it's 2x to the 2n plus 1 all over 2n plus 1. All right, so the basis of this problem is really just stressed in your notes, remembering this Maclaurin series formula and your basic derivatives, which you should have learned in the first semester of your course already. Um, so do not stress about anything. Um, there's nothing different. Just remember this formula, and you will survive McLaurin's and Taylor polynomials. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Calc Survival 101. Remember, stay positive, believe in yourself, and reach for the sky. Because you are superstars. Just let it go, talk to